So this is where they kept you, huh? How long were you in here? Um, I'm not sure. Really long, or kind of short. Uh, it was a blur. What would have happened to you if we hadn't come along? The big man always used to say that I should try and get along with the villagers, so that maybe I could live here one day. I'm sure he meant well by that, but you can't just ask a kid to live alone in some strange town. There sure are a lot of barrels here. Don't drink from those! They're full of strange juice that makes you dizzy! This is porridge wine. It's a type of liquor that glows in the dark. The longer it ferments, the mellower the taste and glow. After ten years, it'll shimmer like the moon. That's why they call the top shelf version Moonlight. You sure know a lot about it. Naturally. Hmm. This flavor certainly is deep and rich. This may be one of the best things I've had. Hey, that's stealing. Don't worry. Something like this won't faze me. Oh, nothing bad's gonna... Oh! Oh! But it just did. I just said it makes you dizzy! It went straight to her legs. I never would have guessed that was Maxwell's weakness. Going again? Let's just calm down and check our objective. Mila, are you nervous about something? No one's ever asked me over for tea before. It seems I'm a bit excited. Soldiers. Wait. Who was that? Have our guests departed? Welcome back. Brought your friends, I see. Klein! Let me introduce you. Oh, um, I never got their names. I hear you came to my sister's aid. I'm Klein Cheryl. I'm Drissel's older brother, as you've no doubt guessed. Lord Klein is the governor here in Sherylton. Really? How rude of us to keep you waiting outside. Please, let's continue our conversation in comfort. I see. So you protected my sister from wasting her money on worthless trinkets again. It's not worthless. Besides, I got a good deal and made some new friends in the bargain. Wahey!
Rowan, please look after our guests. It would be my pleasure, sir. I have some matters to attend to, if you'll excuse me. I've got to run, too. Huh? Nature calls. I better leave now before things get messy. So you're on some great journey, right? You simply must tell me all about your travels. Mm, well, um... I've never even been out of this town. I want to hear all about the faraway places you've been. I've never been outside either. But then... Ellie became pals with Jude and everyone! We crossed mighty oceans and explored forbidden forests! We saw giant waves and toadstools that made everyone cry! You actually sailed across the sea, Ellie? I've never even seen the sea before. What was it like? It's vast and wild, teeming with dangerous creatures. There are giant octopuses pretending to be rocks. Rock octopuses? You don't say! And fish and eels and clams. Oh, I've seen clams. Uh, the shells anyway. They sell shell jewelry in the shops in the plaza. It's all so gorgeous. That sounds really nice. I'll give you one of my favorite pieces as a present next time. As a token of our friendship. Icky clams turned into pretty jewelry? This I gotta see! So giving presents is a way to establish friendship? Uh, why yes. To the giver, a present is a symbol of trust. To the receiver, a present serves as a warm reminder of our friendship. And getting stuff for free doesn't stink either! I see. <laughs> it would appear my young mistress has made some very good friends. Make yourselves at home. Help yourself to tea and treats. certainly seem in good spirits. I am. Look how happy Elise is. It's a real relief. She's been through so much lately. So have you, especially considering how much you obsess over the well-being of others. I'm feeling pretty good. We've finally gotten a little downtime, and the refreshments were great. I see. I'm glad to hear it. But we can't get too comfortable, I suppose. Correct. If he's the governor, that makes him nobility. His manor isn't the smartest place to relax. I feel sorry for Elise, but we can't stay here long. I have been in the service of Lord Klein for about two years now. He is a fine ruler despite his youth. He believes in freedom and equality for his people. If he has any real flaw, it's that he spoils Lady Dressel too much. Klein? Why the unfriendly face? I'm afraid I can't permit you to leave just yet. Now that I know it was you who infiltrated the laboratory in Fenmont. What are you talking about? Save your denials. Alvin told me everything. He did what? Now what? Will you hand us over to the military? No. I want to know what you saw in that facility. Rashigal has undergone dramatic changes ever since Noctigal exceeded the throne. 
Even those of us in the six ruling houses are not told of his activities. The military is holding people captive and draining their mana to develop a new weapon. Human experimentation? He would go that far? I'd like to believe you're lying, but all the pieces fit. So Nautical is the man behind the experiments? The King of Rushigal? He would have to be. <sighs> it's hardly hospitable to keep Drissel's friends captive in our home. But you must leave this city at once. Thank you, Lord Clyde. of kids in Sheraton's Plaza. Looks like some of them are your age. Why not try to talk to them? I truly admire the dedication of these sentries to their mission, but if they stand in my way, I will have no choice but to cut them down. Decline pay you to sell us out. Sell you out? Such an ugly phrase. Money isn't the only currency, you know. It's no secret that Lord Klein is unhappy with the current government. If we want info, we have to give some in return. It's called a trade. I told him what I know, and he gave you some juicy info in return, right? King Nautical of Rashigal is the man responsible for everything. So long as he remains alive, he could construct a second or third Lance of Kresnik. You're going to assassinate the king? What choice do I have? I can't allow him to continue, even if his death throws your country into chaos. I suppose it's the lesser of two evils. We can't let him keep sacrificing innocent people for their mana. Hey, you're the people from the Wanted poster! Whoops. I suppose strolling about wasn't the smartest idea. Hmm. Wind from the southwest. Two meters per second. A nice breeze. What are you doing here? Please, allow me to handle this. Hey, Gramps. Step out of the way before you break a hip. Oh dear me. What a fearsome trio. A bit on the sloppy side, though. You two in the rear. Isn't your formation a little wide? If you stand so far apart, how will you help your comrades in a moment of crisis? Shut up! Like we need your tactical advice. And you, good sir. Aren't you standing a little too far forward? From there, you might be able to catch me. But the good people behind me, on the other hand... Hmm. There's a good soldier. Yeah, what the? Now, if you'll excuse me. Everyone, please follow me. Rowan, that was awesome! You sure showed those meanies! Dear me. You misused the word awesome. It was merely a delay tactic. Whatever it was, you saved us, uh, Mr. Rowan. Just Rowan is fine. What do you need from us? My, get right to the point. 
Indeed, I have a favor to ask of you. Of us notorious criminals? This can't be good. The King of Rashagal came to the manor earlier and ordered our citizens be drafted into service. What? Noctical was here? Yes. The man you saw leaving by carriage earlier was King Noctigal himself. So he's the King of Rashigal. Why is he forcing people into his service? Maybe he needs more experimental subjects? My master couldn't abide seeing his people in danger. He set off to rescue them. But Noctigal is not one who takes disobedience lightly. Is Dressel's brother in danger? Undoubtedly, and I wish to rescue him. Will you assist me? Any brother of a pal is a brother of mine! Right, Ellie? We can't turn a blind eye at this point. We should help. Here we go again. For an honor student, you sure are lousy at learning lessons. It's settled. We cannot allow Noctical to proceed with any plan that involves using that weapon. There's your answer. You have my thanks. The people were taken to Burmia Gorge. We must make haste.
Klein's quite the fool, attempting to directly defy King Noctigal. I too counseled him against it. But as you can see, it can be quite stubborn. Hey! Stop saying mean things about Drissel's brother! Klein is a good man. He most certainly is. Never have I met a lord who cares more deeply for his subjects. Indeed, he was kind and gentle long before he was a lord at all. Two years ago, when I had nowhere else to go, he was gracious enough to hire me on as his butler. Sounds like he's really important to you. Very much so. And he's so cool. Way cooler than Alvin. I beg your pardon. I didn't quite catch that. I'm sure Klein is still safe. Of that, I have no doubt. No harm will befall him on my watch. You and Tipo are always together, aren't you? Because we're best friends! And because Tipo's so cute! Uh, really? What? Of course he's cute, don't you think? Well, I uh, he certainly isn't not cute, uh, in a way that I can't uh, quite put my finger on. How can you not know? It's Tipo! Oh, it's... it's his little horns. Those are super cute. Those are ears! For shame! You're terrible with kids! I'm, I'm sorry. sorry. So pink and cute! Super cute! I've never seen anything so pink before! Super never! What is it? I was just wondering... What the heck are they talking about? You don't have to be scared. They're just children. Go on and ask them. Um, excuse me. What's the cute pink thing you're talking about? You are spying on us. We have nothing to say to spies. Super nothing. Just give us a quick peek. Whoa, that weird thing talked. What is it? Like super weird. He's not weird. He's Tipo. Tipo? Well, whatever. I'm still not going to show the cute pink thing to someone like you. Fine. Ah, phooey. But if you can show us that you love the color pink and prove you're a true pinkist, I may consider it. Prove I'm a pinkist? How? By bringing us super rare things that are pink. For example, start with the peach berry blossom. Bring us one of those, then we'll talk. <laughs> we'll super talk!
We've no time for this. Clear the way! It's a fundamental tactic to switch in members who work best in a given situation. Use this opportunity to practice teamwork. It is time for battle! I guess even geezers like me are never too old for improvement. It's worth taking the time to do it right. With this strategy, everyone will be fighting at their peak. No breaks? Here we go. Got it. You owe me. 
No time for a break? Simmerspin! I'm getting used to the sword. As you should be, since you're so sharp as well. I'll take that as a compliment. Don't you forget it. You guys should have stayed home. Let's end it. Oh, am I actually strong now? Of course, strong and cute. From incoming arts. Always one step. Always one step ahead. Not yet. Throw it. You're open. Take this. The likes of you will not stop me. So this is experience. Darkened clouds, come forth! Full strike! Throw it! Step ahead! Throw it! You're open! I'm ready! Next. You're so strong! Simmer spin! Great! I'm ready! Is that all? Fireball! Take this! Fireball! Full strike! Take this! Power! Please keep them away! I shall fight the force! Darken the wind! Eyes upon the wind! How unfortunate! Feel the beat and ride the rhythm all the way to victory. So, Elise, do you know what you want to do when you grow up? Not really. Ellie doesn't want to grow up. Oh, why is that? If I grow up, People will laugh at me for holding Tipo. We wouldn't laugh. After all, Tipo's your friend. He's right. Go ahead and grow up. You've got nothing to worry about. Really? Cross my heart. That's great, Ellie. Now you can grow up and get married like you wanted. Shh. That's a secret. Oh. Who do you want to marry? 
<clears throat> Nobody! And there she goes.
I've never seen anything like this. This is one of the few liminal regions in Rashagal. You don't expect us to climb this, do you? Uh, I don't even have hands! Look out! The military? I suppose they don't want people seeing what they're up to here. Can you handle it? I can't. I'm pinned down. Oh! Super Pals! Do something! We need a distraction. I'll draw the shooter's attention. You take care of the rest. You're gonna be the bait? That's quite dangerous. It'll be fine. Trust me. Very well. We'll leave this to you. Thanks. Now's our chance. No! Hey, you okay? Yeah, thanks to Alvin. No problem, kid. The feeling again. The same one from Fenmont. What's that? A g g g g g ghost I don't like the looks of that. We better hurry. Lord Klein, so they were performing experiments on humans. Stop. It'll tear your hand right off. This device is just like the one that killed Professor House in the laboratory. Are they trying to build a Spyrex weapon here too? They shouldn't be so easy to make. So this is why they gave up the search for us. A bit of knowledge is a big danger to these people. The channeling circle being generated here isn't a closed type. I would assume the surplus spirit energy is flowing out from the top. If we enter the cavern from the top of the gorge and destroy the core producing the spirit arts, then we can save everyone. Let's go. Whatever this crazy experiment is, do you really think King Noctagall himself is going to be running the show? I do not know. The Noctagall of old would have fought on the front lines instead of dealing with intrigue behind the scenes. Is that right? Noctagall's a blue blood, but he didn't shy away from combat as he climbed the military chain of command. Although lately it looks like he's been more busy with political fights for power. A pity to see him change so greatly. What was that? Yeah. Please disregard my ramblings. Regardless, Lord Klein is a great threat to Noctagall. Nothing is more threatening to a dictator than another individual with both wealth 
and growing popularity. Hey, let me handle this. Fire! Ray! Uh, finish him off! How unfortunate. Ready? Got it. We did it, Mila! We're the best! <laughs> hey, you can let go now. I hope I can get better. Don't worry, I'm here with you! of you will not stop me. Thank you. 
I'm loath to leave behind a full treasure chest, but I fear it's inevitable. You're a bit of a miser, aren't you? Thank you. 
Thank you. 